Hi guys and welcome to A Dark Soul. Today we're going to talk about how a muzzle can make an insecure dog more comfortable in everyday life. I'm Anita, I'm a professional dog trainer. I show you how to build a trusting relationship with your dog to overcome fear and reactivity and have a good time together again. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and now stay tuned and have fun. All right, so a muzzle is still something that's a little stigmatized in our society and people th still seem to think that a dog wearing a muzzle has to be in some way dangerous. But there are a gazillion reasons why dogs should know a muzzle no matter how friendly or how nice or how easy going they are because let me just paint a little picture just as an example we are hiking with our dog we have a very friendly dog and of course we don't need a muzzle in everyday life and the dog gets injured he missteps and injures his leg and this is very painful for him so he has issues getting that leg touched after that and we carry our dog to our car we know we have to go to the vet and now two things can happen that would require our dog to have a muzzle or know a muzzle or be used to that and one of them is our dog is in such pain that he will not let anybody touch his paw, the injured one. And of course, no vet has to get bitten by a dog, so they will just use a sling and close the dog's mouth. Therefore, he cannot bite, but he also cannot pant. He will get more panicked. And this is an even more horrible scenario for everyone in it, especially for the dog. Another thing that can happen, even if the dog would not bite when injured, you're trying to start your car to get your dog to the vet and your car would not start. You have nobody who can pick you up because they are all too far away. You can either order a cab or you can use public transportation where i live both of them require every dog to wear a muzzle so what do you do these are all scenarios that can happen very easily and it's just an example of when a muzzle comes in handy but Today we're going to talk about insecure dogs and how a muzzle actually can make them more comfortable. And again, we have situations where we need to go to the vet and if our dog does not know a muzzle yet, there will be a sling and this will be an even more uncomfortable situation for the dog. But in everyday life, so usual walks and going places, exploring things, stuff like that. We have, again, a bunch of reasons why a muzzle could help. For one thing, if we have a dog who would start picking up things from the street and we don't want that, we haven't trained it yet, a muzzle can just be management and it can help us to not overwhelm the dog with us getting in his face okay so we are preserving our relationship we have built up with our insecure dog and this is always a good thing another thing and this is where we can actually use this kind of perception people seem to still have about muzzles because in my experience it depends on how the dog looks 
but if the dogs any size above the knee, people tend to leave more distance for a muzzled dog than for a non-muzzled dog. Sometimes it works even for smaller dogs, but smaller dogs are often not really taken seriously, so this is another issue. But if we have a slightly larger dog and he wears a muzzle, people assume that dog is dangerous and they will give more distance. They will not approach as easily and just try to pet the dog or get in the dog's face or just walk past very closely. It's not just that people don't respect boundaries or ignore them. Sometimes people just don't know dogs and they don't think about what could be a problem. Like if they are in a hurry and they are just trying to get to their destination as fast as possible and they don't think about it and walk past your dog very closely, maybe even from behind and your dog gets startled. This is not something they do out of spite or because they want to annoy the dog owner or because they want to pick a fight or whatever. They just don't think that this is going to be a problem. They don't think about it. And with a muzzle, it sometimes keeps people a little bit further away and also makes them more hesitant to let their dog just crush into you. Again, this doesn't work for every dog and it doesn't work for every person, but the less a person knows about dogs, the better it works. So if you are taking your dog somewhere where you know there are lots of people or it's just a new place and you don't know and your dog is comfortable wearing a muzzle, Again, this has to be trained and it has to be a very well-fitting muscle. So one that doesn't chaff somewhere, one that doesn't apply any uncomfortable pressure, one that doesn't obstruct any senses, so doesn't obstruct sight or something like that. And it's deep enough so the dog can actually at least pant freely, but I like to give the dog the opportunity to yawn. That would be mouth fully open and it gives the dog the least restriction possible. And again, if it's well trained and the dog is comfortable wearing it, we can use it to keep at least some people away. And yes, some might still approach and some might even talk in an unfriendly way behind your back or to your face. <laughs> we can never know. This can, of course, also happen. But if it keeps my dog more comfortable, I'm fine with that. And it takes a little practice, especially for us to be able to still give treats through the muzzle and be quick about it, stuff like that, we be fine with that ourselves. So if we are constantly thinking about it, then maybe we are more tense and that doesn't help. So sometimes it takes a little getting used to for ourselves as well. but. After all, we are more safe with a muzzle, especially when we have a dog who would snap or bite. And sometimes it really helps when people keep a little bit more distance because they are not sure if a muzzled dog is dangerous or not. All right, that's it for today's episode. And if you Want to know more about fear and reactivity? Click the like button, 
click the subscribe button and an apple the plus <laughs> or on spotify the follow button or on youtube the little bell so you don't miss anything anymore we have videos as well two times a week and we talk about all things reactivity and fear related and sometimes even normal dog related so if you don't want to miss anything i would love to see you subscribe and if you want to help get the word out to even more dog people share this episode and together we will make the world for our insecure dogs a little bit more easy until next time bye Thank you.